Hello friends. Today I will show you how to install Phoenix OS Thunder Lite version 4.0. Please follow all my steps carefully and don't skip the video. So let's start the video. This is my PC configuration. This is nothing but a potato PC. But you can play PUBG smoothly without any lag on any potato PC. First download the Phoenix OS Tools.rar. You can find the download link in description. This contains all necessary software for installing Phoenix OS. I have already downloaded this. Extract the RAR with WinRAR software. Now install Disk Genius first and open it. We have to make a 30 GB new hard drive partition. So select a drive and right click and select create new partition. Type 30 in space of rear part. Then click start. After complete select that drive again and right click and now select format the partition. Select ext4 from file system drop down and type phoenix os on volume label and then hit format. We have created our partition successfully. But as you can see the partition we created is not shown again file explorer. Now install the ext2 fsd from the phoenix os tools and open it. Now you can see that ext4 formatted partition. Right click on it and select assign drive letter. Now it's showing in file explorer. Delete the folder inside it. Now download Phoenix OS Thunder. Download link given in description. I have already downloaded it. Extract the file as I do. Select this files. Go to the Phoenix OS drive that we created. Create a folder with any name. Now drag the files here. And now extract this app.zip. Enter the password. Now move this folder to desktop. Or else it will not work. Now open app.exe. Type 6. And hit enter. Now select 2. And hit enter. Again select 2 and hit enter. You can select other sizes but I recommend 8 GB for better performance. After few minutes it will finish. Then open the out folder and copy the data.img file. And then paste it in the Phoenix OS drive. It's completed. Now it's time for final work. Now install the EasyBCD software and open it.
Go to Add New Entry. Select NeoGrub. Click Install. Now go to Edit Boot Menu. Select this and rename it. Click Save Setting and close it. Now open the Buddha 64 bit. If you are using 32 bit Windows, you can download the Buddha's 32 bit from link in description. Open Buddha's and select Parts Manage. Look for the drive letter, mine is F. Look for yours. Now find the serial number according to the drive letter from the Buddhas. Mine is 6. Look for yours. Now open boot.txt file. Now replace the number you got from Buddhas and copy all the text. Go to local disk C. NST folder. Open the menu.lst file with notepad and paste the text. Now save this. One more important thing to do. Copy this name. And rename this folder. Otherwise it will not boot. Finally all our work has done. Now simply restart your computer. You will see a interface something like this. Select the Phoenix OS and hit enter. Your PC may reboot again and show this interface again. But don't worry, again select Phoenix OS and hit enter. After that it will take 5 to 10 minutes to complete the setup. So as you can see we have successfully installed Phoenix OS. If you have problems with screen resolution, Go to settings and change the display resolution according to your actual display size. Open FX file manager. I have already downloaded PubHage Mobile Korean version to my hard drive and other necessary files. If you are a global version user, then just open Play Store and install PubHage. Now install PubHage and follow my steps. Install Viper FX if you have a low quality headphone and want enhanced sound quality. I will provide this apps with the Phoenix OS tools. Now install GL tools. Global version users don't need to install GL tools. Open Play Store and download Performance Tweaker. Now open L Speed and follow my steps.
Now open Performance Tweaker and follow my steps. Now open Viper FX and do settings like me. Now open settings, select auto run and follow my steps. Finally install Battleground Advanced Graphics tool from Play Store. You can use other GFX tool as well. Open Magisk Manager, hit OK. It will reboot the computer after a few seconds. After reboot, open FX File Manager. Locate the Phoenix OS tools that you downloaded. Then copy the NFS injector file. Now open Magisk Manager again then select Modules. Click on the plus icon and choose the NFS file that we copied. And then again restart your computer. Now open GL tools and follow my steps carefully. Otherwise Korean version will not run properly or you will face black screen. Again open FX File Manager. Go to System Root Folder. Data Folder. Find NFS Folder. Select Mode. Change it with 2 and save. All process is same for both global and Korean version, only GL tools is necessary for Korean version. Now open the GFX tool, select your PUBG version and set the graphics according to your hardware capability. Then run the game. Now complete update and log into your game account. Here I successfully logged to my account. There is a problem that you can't sign in with Google Play Games in Phoenix OS. Only Facebook and Twitter is available. Korean version is awesome. I got all this dresses and gun skin for free by opening creates. Now go to training ground and do controls like me.
you may need to adjust this controls if you are having a big display. It seems to be laggy, but it's because of my low-end hardware. Gameplay becomes laggy with screen recording. But without recording it is more smooth and more better than Game Loop and official Phoenix OS. When the world is sound asleep, something's gonna bring the change. Journeys we are meant to take, something at the edge of space. Now let's check out gameplay. Something's gonna bring the change. Journeys we are meant to take. Something at the edge of space. Calling